Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has officially confirmed that Windows 11 is getting a new redesigned start menu. And this start menu is already been tested in the Insider program, which I have posted on. And I'll leave a video link down below and in the end screen if you'd like a little bit more information. Now I thought in this video we could just dive a little bit deeper into the category view. Because you're going to get three views for your all apps. List, grid and category. And according to a post by Windows Latest, Microsoft has confirmed that you won't be able to create your own category in the start menu beyond the existing categories. And those existing categories, just to have a closer look at them, are first of all utilities and tools, which will house Windows settings, clock app, calendar, calculator, and so on. You'll have productivity, which will include browsers like Edge, Chrome, Copilot, Outlook, File Explorer, Notepad, and so on. Then you'll have games. I think that speaks for itself. Another one will be social. Another one will be creativity, which will include apps like Paint, Camera, Photos, and so on. Entertainment, which will include Netflix, Apple Music, Prime Video, Windows Media Player, and so on. And then information and reading, which will house weather, maps, and so on. And then we have this other view. So in total, there will be eight category views. And this is where all your apps will go, where Windows doesn't know where to put the apps. And they don't fit in an appropriate category. So here we can see apps like Chrome Canary, Edge Canary. This looks like some dev tools, terminal and so on, and security. Now according to Microsoft, it's also mentioned that you need to have at least three apps in a respective category, or that category will not show up. So as an example, this means when you just have the Paint app and you removed everything else, including photos, you won't see the creative category. Instead, Paint will then be moved to the other apps in the other category. So if you have just a couple of apps installed, you might have all of those in the other category because you need three of each different category. So I thought just to post this quick video just to kind of give us a little bit more info and get us all on the same page with the category view in the new start menu because obviously that is a brand new view that Microsoft um, is working on. And hopefully things will get a little bit better with the category view because I think personally I would like to maybe try and customize one or two views to my own personal choice. So hopefully in the future, because as I've mentioned, the new start menu is still being tested in the Insider program. So hopefully in the future, Microsoft will allow us to eventually create our own category. But at least this sheds a little bit of insight to where things are currently. And by the way, just on a side note, it seems that this new start menu is going to have a so-called mind of its own. Because already... It's going to create categories automatically and something else is the start menu is going to automatically resize depending on the size of your screen so if you have a larger screen as an example as i've mentioned previously you're going to see eight rows of pinned apps and if you have a smaller screen, obviously the start menu will adjust accordingly and you will have six rows of pinned apps and everything else will adjust accordingly. The new start menu is going to have a so-called mind of its own in regards to being customized. So that's going to be an interesting one to watch. But nonetheless, it is still in preview. It hasn't made it stable. We'll have to see, as I say with Microsoft, only time will tell what this will actually be when it rolls out to the general public. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.